Welcome all and welcome back to module four of Google Certified Educator Level One. We are going to cover up all the heavy apps uh, for Google Certified Educator Level One exam. As you saw the last session, we covered up slides. In this session, we will cover up sites. Now, Google Sites is, is like creating your own website uh, for your own school, own classroom, for student portfolios, for subject portfolios, or for a presentation portfolio. So uh, there are lots of ways it can be used. One of the ways I really like sites uh, being used is uh, for digital portfolios for student. So the best part is all the projects the student has been working on from grade one all the way till grade 10. He could maintain his or her own site. Now to access sites, uh, we need to go on sites.google.com. But what we would do here is uh, the points uh, covered up for Google Certified Educator Level 1 would be we create a new site, we add three pages to it, we will add heading, images, and video to the pages. We will try and change the theme and then add students as editors. Now to access sites, uh, you need to go on new sites. So let's see if that works. So uh, no, so they still have kept it as sites.google.com and uh, What we'll do is uh, we'll click on create uh, new sites recommended. So there was a classic site software and there is a new site software. So we will select new site from sites.google.com. Now why it's uh, Google has, uh, this is a brand new version which uh, Google has launched, uh, which is much more mobile friendly. So We'll create a site as student portfolio. And uh, so you see the student site name automatically comes in here. So that's the file name and that's the site name. You can click on this and add a logo if you wish to. And in page title, let's add the student name. So let's keep his name as student one. If you wish to add further information on the page, uh, you don't have any clickable object here. So what we'll do is we'll just click on text box. So you get a text box here. So here we'll type a message, welcome to my website. My name is Okay. And what I wish to do this uh, here is I would just click on this and make it as heading. So that's my heading. If you click on these colors, section background, I could just click and, you know, kind of provide a different background there. I just love the way this software is presented. It's so easy to use. You could again click on text box, again a box. Okay, and this time what you could do is We'll keep entering so I could just uh, let's make the pages as grade one grade two and grade three and let's give it a bulleted text here. so that's my first page now what we intended to do was create a new site and add three pages, okay? So we'll go on pages. We click on plus. And here we will add name as grade one. It's done. Then we'll add one more page as grade two. It's done and one more page as grade three. Now, if you click on advanced, uh, 
or we will skip it for you, but you can give a customized path here for the page if required. So all the three pages are created. Now what we'll do is we will go on grade one and we will insert a image. So that's your image. You'll click on insert image and uh, you'll select it from, let's see, let's select it from image search. So I will give a topic like painting, right? And I would just click on this picture and insert. Uh, depending on your internet connection, the image, uh, you could just uh, drag and extend it. So you could do so. Yeah. And what I want to do is in grade two, add a video. So I would go on YouTube here. So you've got lots of different kinds of widgets here. We call it as widgets. So you could have image carousal, like an image gallery or table of contents, collapsible text. But what I wish to do is now just go on YouTube and let's, let me type painting itself. I'll just click to select the first video and I'll insert the video here itself. What also you could do is now you could just click on the layout and have a layout like this created. So if you want a video here with the text on the right side, you could do the same. And here you could type the heading. So that was your, uh, you know, uh, the second page. Now, what you could do is you could go on home and you could just click on this change image and you can actually change the image of that background itself. So let's select, uh, okay, this, I like this picture. So I click on select. So if you see that background image for that page changes. So accordingly, you can change and have a different image for every site itself. So coming back to our presentation, we added heading, we added images, we added video, we added three pages. Now let's learn how do you add or change the theme. Now theme is basically the color combinations of your site, like how you had in slides and the font of, of course. So when you click on themes, so right now you're on a simple theme. Now, if you select like a diplomat theme, so you see the whole overview of the, of the site changes. Okay. Now, when you go on preview, it opens up uh, actually uh, on that window itself. It shows you actually how the site would look like to the people. So what I would wish to do is, I have grade one, two and three. I would like to link them to these pages so that you understand how linking in the site itself works. So we'll just shut this exit preview. We come back to the site and here what we do is we select this and we go on insert link. So make sure you select the text, insert link and either you can link it to an external site or you could just link it to the site internally itself. Now, navigation is a very integral part of any website. So you have to make sure 
that uh, when you're using Google Sites, uh, the navigation is very properly handled. And once you are sure that the site is ready, you could just click on Publish. Make sure you give a name to it. And the site is published. One final thing to understand here is, suppose you have a student portfolio which, or, a, or, a, or a project to which you want to assign it to like a group of four or five students. So Google al again allows you to collaborate on apps. So here I would click on sharing and I would just give the names of the student here. And I will not forget to provide them rights as pub editor so that they can make changes to the site. If I don't want them to make changes to the site, then I would select them as published viewer. So out here, I will make them as editor. And then I'll notify them with a message. And I'll click on send. Now, as soon as I do that, both the students get notification and the site is up and running to be edited by a couple of students. Now, sites again has some more advanced options, but for Google Certified Educator Level 1, this much information is enough for all of you. So thank you so much and I will...